Hello everyone! I was asked uh, to show my Hogwarts castle a little more in detail as far as how I've laid it out and what sets I use to create this castle and also the light kits um, that I've used to cover pretty much most of the space that you see on the Hogwarts castle. Um, I do have a few sets that I have placed outside of the castle, which I think look very nice. But the castle itself, the Hogwarts beautiful school, um, is made of uh, different sets. Uh, we have the Chamber of Secrets, we have um, Polyjuice Potion, we have the Gryffindor Dorms, we have First Flying Lesson, we have the Hospital Wing, uh, we have um, Dumbledore's Office, and then we have the Grand Staircase. So those are all the sets that are used to make up this castle. And uh, this is how I've laid out the rooms. Um, so yeah, just changing some of the layouts. I wanted to sort of it to make sense as far as the story. Um, like for example, I wanted to make sure Fluffy was by the harp. Hermione looks angry because uh, she just does not agree with the boy's plans. <laughs> and she doesn't want to get expelled. <laughs> So yeah, I just wanted things to um, be coherent, make sense. For example, the uh, Polyjuice, did I mention the Polyjuice um, potion set? Maybe not, but it is above the Chamber of Secrets with the door. Um, so yeah, here are all the sets together. And the only light kits I've used uh, to make up this entire castle, which really much covers but I'd say 95% of the entire castle, I've only used a uh, light tailing Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets kit and the light tailing uh, Hogwarts Dumbledore office because they come with really wonderful long uh, strands. So that's why I laid out the castle this way uh, so that the wires could reach all the way up. Some I had to put in certain places, like for example, for the pensive, I had to have that blue light for that, so I kind of um, built the rest based on that. And then, of course, I wanted the Chamber of Secrets uh, to be green because those lights were made, the green lights were made for down here. So I did build a little bit around some of the, the basic instruction, but everything else I sort of winged it and I just tried to place them where I thought they would be the best. Uh, it was pure luck that Fluffy ended up as the red room. I did not really plan that, but I'm glad it came out that way. I'm also glad I was able to get a light all the way up here uh, with the lantern. So yeah, I think overall um, the whole layout looks really good. I used pieces only from the sets for Hogwarts. Uh, I added a few things, I've moved just a few things, but I've kept pretty much all the rooms the way they were meant to be. Originally, um, I moved some of the figures. Uh, I did add a cupcake as poop for Fluffy. <laughs> you know, those small details that just make the story more fun. I absolutely love the library, so I need to make sure those two lights back there also had um, lights. And unfortunately, because I did not follow the instruction, well, I couldn't hide all the wires. But that's okay. I'm, I'm happy with the result. I think it looks really good. Uh, the boys have lots of candy in the dorms. I think that's really cute. I love the polyjuice. I love I love the fact I was able to put green in there as well. It sort of ties in with the Chamber of Secrets. Um, I even put a, a light right here with the uh, first flying lesson, which are uh, so these two are part of the first flying lesson. But I love this sort of connect uh, system where you can just connect the rooms and lay them out however you want. Um, this room looks very different from what you got from the Chamber of Secrets set because I added a lot of these pieces from the Magic Tree Trunk, which had so many pieces. And my Magic Tree Trunk, I actually just have it on display. So if you look up here, there's Mag Magic Tree Trunk and it's just closed. So I had a lot of pieces in there that were just sitting there doing nothing. And I thought, well, that's a waste. So one might as well just get the pieces and use them somewhere else. And I did. <laughs> I used them on my Hogwarts castle. And I think the final result came out beautifully. 
I am still in love with how everything came together for my entire uh, Harry Potter Lego collection. I absolutely love uh, the light kits and the way they just bring everything together. I'm really happy with uh, this shelf that I found on Amazon because for me, uh, truly, it's the perfect size to put just uh, each set in their own little cubbies. Um, they tie all in together really well, but I think as a whole, the whole display just looks fantastic. And I'm really glad I was able to get um, those LED lights for the bottom row right here for the uh, book <clears throat> book classrooms. That's six sets uh, down here, two per. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with the end results. I think everything came together really nicely. Um, and if you if you do want to see some of the the sets in more details as far as how I've um, pretty much laid them out, you know the little changes I've made, like for example, the car from the four Privet Drive set. I've put it in the Whomping Willow because I thought that was very fitting, and I was able to change the faces on Harry and Ron to look absolutely horrified. <laughs> so you know all these little details. I think just. Um, make a set. It's just those little extra things that you can do um, to just put your own stamp on it. So I hope you enjoy this and I hope uh, it helped you with some of my light kit sets and how I've put everything together and I will make some more videos um, maybe when I get some more sets because I still have room where I could build up if I need to add more shells to put some more Lego sets maybe perhaps in the near future if there's some that I really really want that's where I would put them thank you so much for watching